Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. And today what I want to talk about is the New York Giants matchups in the NFC East. Which matchups I am looking forward to most in this division because we play these teams six times next year. Maybe less because of this whole Corona thing. No, but I think we're going to play them six times next year. Tomorrow, I said it yesterday, but I'm going to do a more in-depth video about what we're going to do with this secondary. I think Julian Love's going to see more snaps at free safety. I know his hips are good. He can catch up with tight ends and stuff. I just don't love him in the box. He's able to shoot gaps pretty well, but I think Xavier McKinney's a little bit better, and he's going to find a strong suit with that free safety spot. But yeah, we'll talk about more of that tomorrow. Um, that's a little bit of a sneak preview. But I want to talk about more about the matchups in this division that I'm really wanting to see. And yeah, so the first and obvious one is Daniel. Jo- no, it's it, it's Andrew Thomas versus Chase Young. That's what it is. Number two pick versus number four pick. And uh, Chase Young and Andrew Thomas have matched up in the past. And Andrew Thomas held his own. He did really well, actually, against um, against Chase Young. The number one defensive end and the number one offensive tackle in this draft are going to match up twice next year. And is Andrew, Th- is Andrew Thomas going to hold his own? Is Chase Young a man? Is he going to be able to face up against Andrew Thomas? Or is he just going to go like, you know, I'm going to play on the right side. I'm going to go against Nate Soldier because I think I can beat him. And I think that's going to help our team. Or are you going to face up and be a man and face... Andrew Thomas, the guy who got selected number four overall in this draft. And I'm pumped up about that. That's going to be so fun to watch. Twice, he's going to have hopefully a plus 90 plus percent of the snaps against Andrew Thomas. And uh, maybe that right side is going to be a little bit weak. And then Chase Young is going to be like, see, I am good. But meanwhile, it's just the right side getting pressure because Nate Soldier uh, is not going to play well. Hopefully, this works out in our favor. I'm just excited to see this matchup. It's going to happen twice. Um, Chase Young, people say he's a once-in-a-lifetime prospect. Some people think he's better than Nick Bosa. Can use his hands better. Um, and it sometimes over-pursues. But, you know, people say he's great. So we'll see. Is he able to develop in this defense? Next, Daniel Jones versus Dwayne Haskins. Now, it's not a direct matchup. But Dwayne Haskins and Daniel Jones, say what you want about uh, Dwayne Haskins, but he did improve towards the end of last season. He felt a little bit more comfortable, plus they started getting him first-team snaps. They surrounded him with wide receiver talent. Antonio Gandy-Golden, who I love, they draft him. They also drafted a guy in the second round that didn't really make a lot of sense. But you also have guys from last year as well who... You know, they, they they showed up in the showdown. They torched our defense, 35 points. You know, it wasn't really that much of a run thing. It was more of a pass thing. And it feels like the Giants, you know, our pass defense has been awful. And um, it's going to be very interesting to see how Dwayne Haskins does this year. Does he improve? Is Kyle Allen playing against us? That's another narrative. And, yeah, but yeah I think Dwayne Haskins is going to be the guy there. As much as I joke and I kid, you know, they're, they have Terry McLaurin. They also have another guy that they're pretty confident from last year. Don't really have a, a good tight end because of the whole Jordan Reed situation. But, you know, I, I think that they're going to – I I think that this is going to be a good back and forth. Daniel Jones, we decided not to get a bunch of wide receivers for him because – you know what? You're learning a new offense. As much as you want to get wide receivers to fit that offense, and right now we don't really have those, you know, you want continuity a little bit. You want as much continuity as possible. Let's mess with the breadbasket a little bit next year or maybe midseason, making some internal moves based on what's necessary. But, man, that was a pretty good analysis. I don't know. <laughs> like I, Sometimes I'm like, do I sound smart here? But, you know, really, it's, it's common sense. Uh, next, uh, Darius Slayton versus Darius Slay. They didn't really match up a lot last year, but they have the same name, and I think it's going to be really cool. The Eagles gave him a big contract. Darius uh, Slay is big, uh, is small, and uh, Darius Slayton is big. Well, he's like 6'2", but, you know, he's the biggest guy we got. He's our number one wide receiver. Is Darius Slayton going to develop into a number one wide receiver for us? Or is he going to take a little bit of a step back? Maybe Sterling Shepard jumps up. Um, and, yeah, so uh, if Darius Slayton is our number one guy, I think Darius Slayton is going to cover him. Uh, if, if that's what it is, you know, the Eagles don't really have a lot of cornerback talent right now. You know, they, they had a pretty bad draft. Who did they draft at corner? Uh, actually, no, those. Oh, they didn't draft a cornerback, did they? You know, I think they, they decided to pay a guy, and all, all of a sudden their, you know, cornerback, uh, you know, depth was solved. You know, the Giants, we paid a guy, and then we drafted two, three more. And plus, we have a guy that we drafted last year in the first round. So speaking about addressing your secondary, that's what we did. The, the Eagles didn't really do that. Uh, that. But that matchup between Darius Slay and Darius Slayton is going to be very interesting. I'm looking forward to see it. Uh, the next one I want to mention is... Oh, wait, I forgot about this one. I, I did research. Oh, Amari Cooper versus James Bradbury. Now, they faced off once. They didn't face off when uh, Amari Cooper was in Dallas because Amari Cooper actually, I searched it up. Oh, well, not searched it up. I know. In 2018 when he got traded, it was midseason. The Dallas Cowboys played the uh, the Panthers, but Dallas, they didn't uh, have Amari Cooper yet. They faced off once in 2016. Amari Cooper had four uh, catches and 22 yards. I, I didn't check every single play on the film, but 
Apparently, James Bradbury played against Mario Cooper, so he did well. It was his first rookie year, and both guys got paid now. You know, four, five years, $100 million, Four years, or three years, $45 million. Uh, let, Let's see. I think James Bradbury needs to be physical against Amari Cooper. Um, maybe maybe James Bradbury lines up against uh, C.D. Lamb in the slot, but I think it's going to be him and Amari Cooper. Uh, is he going to be able to shut him down? That's going to be very interesting. A whole secondary versus the uh, Dallas Cowboys wide receivers is going to be very interesting. I'm very interested in that matchup. Maybe even DeAndre Baker versus a C.D. Lamb. You know, C.D. Lamb, they, bo- they both have similar 40 times. So I think uh, DeAndre Baker can hold his own against C.D. Lamb. They never really faced off, I don't think. I don't think Georgia ever played Oklahoma. That's also another very interesting matchup. Uh, and yeah, and also what I am interested in is how do the Giants uh, rookie pretty much nickel corners Face up against uh, Eagles tight ends. Are we able to shut them down? This is just a general question. Darnay Holmes, is he able to cover tight end? Julian Love, tight ends. Do they improve in the second year or are these tight ends going to torch us? The Dallas Cowboys now don't really have a reliable tight end. They have Blake Jarwin, but we saw when they didn't have Sean, uh, not Sean Lee, uh, Jason Winton, that they their offense kind of sputtered uh, in 2018. So we'll see. Uh, are the Giants be able to cover these tight ends? Not really a lot of good tight ends outside of the Eagles. Are we going to be able to cover these tight ends with the Eagles? Are they going to continue to torch us over and over and over again? That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, there's a lot of matchups in this division that are going to be interesting. I think the Giants have a good position in this division, better than a lot of people think. I just think that, you know, if training camp comes back in August, you know, we, we have to keep Solder on this team. That's a topic for a little bit of a different video. We have to keep Solder on this team, and uh, we have to do that. You know, we have to do it well. And also, I'm looking forward to Andrew Thomas versus every single pass rusher in this division as well. You know, you still have guys in the Eagles. You still have, you know, Alden Smith on the Cowboys. Now, how does he face against these pass rushers in this division? Because that's the key for years to come. He's going to be facing these guys for a while, but I'm really interested in that Chase Young thing. But, yeah, uh, let me know. Did I miss any uh, uh, matchups that you guys want to see? Because um, I, 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 I swear I probably did. These are just the top four or five that came into my mind right away. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.